and welcome. My name is Peregrine, and today we will be starting a new FTL save file. So let's get started. We'll be using the Red Tail, which is this ship. Um, the reason why I want to use this ship is because of all the lasers. I really like the freedom to hit many uh, systems on the ship, on uh, enemy ships. Um, the other ships are, uh, I don't have them all, I just have the, these three, I haven't really played very much. Um, this one is the Kestrel, it has an Artemis, which is like a missile weapon, and then a burst laser. Three crew members. Um, this one is uh, the Swallow, and it has dual lasers and an ion stunner, which basically like, the ion stu dis stunner um, disables enemy systems and stuns the crew that are in the room. Um, I also have the NG uh, cruisers called the Taurus. Um, it has two NG crew members which have faster repair speed um, but they aren't very good at fighting. Uh, and then they have an ion blaster which basically is just better at disabling systems than the ion stunner. They have these things called drones, which you might see in this Let's Play if we ever get them. Uh, basically they are sent out by your ship and will attack the enemy ship. Um, and they also have an augmentation called NG Mod Medbot Dispersal, um, which basically just heals um, crew members anywhere in the ship instead of just in the med bay which is right here if the med bay has power so the last ship is, that I have is the stealth cruiser type A I'm not going to try and pronounce that name the Nessa CO or something like that um, has dual lasers and a mini beam a beam weapon basically lets you you let it, you draw like a path that it'll cut we'll probably get a beam weapon in this let's play they also have a cloaking device which basically makes them invisible and unable to hit unless you get a special um, a special uh, augmentation. They have uh, long range scanners as well which lets them see further and titanium casing which basically just makes their hull a little bit stronger. Um, I don't really like them because they don't have energy shields. They they only have cloaking, which you can get later in the game with other ships anyways, so I don't really like playing with them. So we'll be playing with um, the Red Tail. Um, there's this extra mode called Advanced Mode, which we're going we're to be playing with that on, which basically just adds new systems, weapons, and races. One race is the... Uh, Forgot what the Linus Linus. Uh, basically, they well these anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. Uh, they basically just drain oxygen from the room. See how this red these red um, bars mean that there's no oxygen in that room. Um, they are slow, but obviously they're not going to kill themselves. So they they can breathe without oxygen because um, they're anaerobic. That means without oxygen. Um, so here's gonna. This is gonna be our crew. We're gonna rename them. Um, this guy. Uh, the first one will be uh, Carl. Okay, rename. Except the next one, we're gonna do another guy. Orion. And. Sorry, just looking at my watch. Um, these, this one will be uh, Sparky. Basically, this is a Zoltan, which means that they give energy to whatever room system they're in. So I'll explain that when we get in the game. It'll be it'll be easier to understand when we get in game with them. Then this is a Mantis, which basically has higher combat. So I'm gonna name him Spiky. Okay. Now, in later in the game, we'll have other crew members, so I'm looking for suggestions for names in the comments, so don't forget to comment about that. Um, we're going to be playing in easy mode. Or no, 
normal mode, sorry. <laughs> um, basically, it's just normal. I don't know what to say about it. It's uh, you, you can. It says standard scrap rewards and enemies. Your score gets a twenty five percent boost. So basically, I don't know. It just it's just normal. <laughs> the game is pretty hard by itself, anyways. So normal is actually quite difficult, anyways, to beat the game. Uh, easy is also quite difficult. I would call this like normal, <laughs> hard, insane. That, that's how this game is. We're not going to rename the ship, we'll just keep it Red Tail. And, well, let's get started. Let's see what we got. The day carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before pursuing rebel, the rebel fleet. Before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Okay. So basically you can hit this jump key, and then this is like the jump map, so you can only get to ones that have this green dotted line too. So this is a distress beacon, which means somebody might, like, it's basically like a special event, so you pretty much know there's going to be a ship there. We're just going to fly around this way. Uh, there's a single ship at this beacon to hail you. We could really use some help. Our FGL navigation seems to be shot. Can you help us get to a nearby station where they can patch it up? And we're going to let him do that. And basically, this is a quest marker, so basically if we fly to that star, then we get stuff from this ship. Well, not always, but we help the ship, and then usually they'll give us something. Um, okay, this is a drone, so they don't have any crew. I'm just going to pause it with spacebar quick, so that we can manage our power. Um, like I said before, the Zoltan provides power to the subsystems or system in the room. So... This gold bar is from the Zoltan, so then we can power up all of our weapons. And if you weren't in the room, we would only be able to power up three. So that's really nice. And then I usually like to just turn off uh, the med bay and put more engine, more power to the engines, because uh, as before, as I talked about before, um, the NG starship has an augmentation which lets you basically heal your crew away from the med bay, which is located here, um, if the med bay has power. Um, so basically that's not very useful if if you don't have those, there's no point in having the med bay on all the time because you can just divert power to it when a crew member is injured and needs to go to the med bay. Um, so we'll take out the ship then. It shouldn't be that hard because they don't have shields, but they do have a missile and lasers so we'll just go over how to aim your weapon so you can use the number keys and left click on where to hit or you can just click on them and place them on where you want it to hit now you can't target like this area you, you have to target a specific room see how this is highlighted um, empty rooms aren't quite as useful to shoot at because they don't have systems to damage um, basically what systems are is just like uh, like the piloting system if if that gets damaged this right here um, here I don't know how to get it to show up for you there this system here um, if that gets destroyed or they have to divert power well um, if this gets destroyed then basically then they can't they're a sitting duck they can't move um, so usually you want to target that or their engines, which will, will do the same thing if they're damaged. And then this is their weapons, so I like to target the weapons as well. This ship doesn't have shields, so normally I would target the shields as well. Do like a burst to, um, like two to their shields and then spread out the other two shots to the piloting and to the weapons. But we should be okay here. Oh, our oxygen just took damage, so that means we don't want to open. Normally, um, so this is a fire here, which doesn't always start. We got unlucky, and it started at the beginning with the first shot that they gave us. Um, but basically, normally you could, like, here, I'll do it with this 
these rooms because it's not going to matter. But um, basically, see how air is like evacuating this? Um, normally you could do that for the room with a fire in it, but because because they're just a sitting duck now, so we'll just target everything on the weapons. Um, but because our oxygen is damaged, then if we open this up to air, uh, or to the vacuum of space, then there's not going to be any oxygen while our crew repairs it. So then they'll take damage and almost suffocate probably before they could get it up, back up. So I usually, if there's a fire in there, I just send edit everyone but the pilot in there to put out the fire and start fixing it. So that, the, that volley of shots destroyed the ship, so now we get stuff, scrap, which is like the currency from the dead ship, and sometimes we get um, uh, drones or weapons or fuel or different things. Um, okay. Now we're going to put everyone back where they were. That, this bus button just closes all the doors, this button opens them all. And then a double tap will open everything, which you don't want to do that, so... <laughs> Otherwise we'll suffocate all of our crew. Um, now, Orion, I think I had you here. Sparky was here. Spiky, <laughs> that'll get confusing probably, was there. So now I'm just going to uh, save these as the crew positions. So now, if I send them all over here... Oh, oxygen's going out. I forgot to turn that on. Um, turn it back on, I should say. Um, so the world does keep them in there so that the oxygen, as the oxygen refills. See how this room is like pinkish? Slowly as it fills up back with oxygen, it'll change color to being white, like normal. Now I can hit return to make them return to their safe positions. And... Divert power back to the shields. We want this shield layer. Basically, that just takes a one layer of damage without hurting your hull, which is right here, which is basically just your health. Um, now let's go to this distress beacon and see what's up. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Life, life form. Um, let's see. I, Usually, if it's a single life form, it's usually like a crazy man, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's not take him up, because usually there's a madman on these, and it said madman, so that usually indicates that it's a madman who will kill your crew, is most likely. There's, there's always a chance that you'll get him as a crew member, but usually I like to play this game pretty safe, because you can get burned by the game pretty easy, easily. Okay, this is hacking, which basically, um, it's a drone, and it'll lock onto a system, and then basically they have control of that system. So, they took over door control, which is really stupid. Normally you take out, like, shields or something like that. Okay, so this green means that all of our stuff is ready. So, we'll target, I think let's target drones. Well, okay, let's target shields and then shoot one at drones because they they don't have they all, all they have for weapons is this beam which can't get through our shielding so basically our only threat is the drone taking out our shields and then the beam cutting us in half or something like that well they, it won't cut us in half but um damaging us directly see how it can't get through the shields yeah so uh, so right now um these weapons are charging up and because their bar is red, it means that they have something to target, which I just gave them all commands to target. Um, we're going to target their drones to try and get rid of this drone that's flying around us. Then I have one to target the weapons, which hopefully will take out that. And then I have one final shot going toward piloting, which will give us an advantage for the later volleys if we, if we can take it out. Okay, we did. These, If it's fully red, that means we've destroyed it, so it's stuck. Um... These mean that they're partially functional, or one of their bars is fixed. Basically, like, you have bars, and they'll get damaged. So, like, this bar could be damaged, so then it'll be yellow, but it's still not functional, because I need two at a time. For shields, you can't take just one away, like you can with the engines. Um, 
Now another thing that they have is they're charging their FTL, which is now delayed because I hit their piloting. Basically what that means is that it's basically like a time limit and they'll jump away, which we could do that and see how it's charging up. So over time this will reach completion and then when it's completed then we can jump without finishing the battle. So run away from them. And that's what they're trying to do to us, but we've damaged their piloting so now um, they can't get away. <laughs> so now we'll probably finish them off. I'll take out that and target oxygen. I like to target oxygen. So basically like my success succession um, for attack is shields, um, weapon systems, piloting, and then oxygen because the AI will automatically target oxygen because they need that. Well, normally it'll target oxygen only um, because then the crew's like, oh no, we're gonna die. So then they, everyone leaves what they were normally repairing and go to repair the oxygen. So basically that keeps all their systems down for a long amount of time. Now there's two stores, or a store here and a distress beacon, so we'll go to the store so you can see what that's like. Um, basically, uh, the store is pretty self-explanatory. You can buy like crew members here, which I don't know if I need a crew member. Let's see. I like to have all of the main systems have, so like piloting, shields, engines, and guns. Uh, to have crew members, but um, sensors and door control can also have crew members, and basically what happens if you do that is it boosts it up by, by one. Um, so basically this will let us have a little extra advantage. So then I can see the inside of the ship and see the crew members inside. Um, here basically just makes the doors a little bit stronger. Which later, in later game, having crew members here is a little helpful specifically for the door control not so much for sensors really all you need is the second power for sensors which brings me to ship upgrades which you can do um, you can upgrade these subsystems uh, which always have power by the way um, so I, I'm gonna upgrade our sensors actually I'm gonna look at um, what they have in the shop first um, store um, backup battery. We don't really need a backup battery right now. Basically, that'll just give us extra energy for our reactor over here, which lets us power more systems, which is only really helpful late game when you have so much power here that your reactor cannot get big enough to support all of those, so then you need a backup battery to improve that. Um, we'll get to that if we ever get a um, backup battery, if we need one ever. I don't think we will, though. Burst laser, we don't have enough for that. Although we'll, we could sell one of these. Oh hey, we have a combat drone, we'll sell that. We don't have a drone release thing and I'm not really intending to get them on a really like drone, so I don't think they're very useful. Okay, this requires two power. These require one power. Um, and then it shoots twice and these shoot once. Um, I say Mm, I'm thinking about it. Mm, I don't think it's worth it right now. We're just gonna buy fuel, which is this thing, these uh, atom sign, and then we don't need any of this because we only have lasers. That's another reason why I like this ship at the beginning because you're not dependent on a certain like ammunition. Um, we'll fly to this distress beacon now. Uh, you arrive at the distress beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems this distress beacon was a trap. So this happens sometimes. Basically, they imitate, they pretend to be in trouble, and then they ambush you. Which isn't usually that big of a deal. Usually they're pretty weak, so you can just take them out quite easily. So we're going to target shields and then weapons. Okay, we took out their shields. Oh, I thought, okay. And then their weapons. Okay, good. Weapons are down. Now they, they hit us with a stunner, which stunned our shield, so now it's down, and Spiky, who's in there. Basically now he's unresponsive, you can't send him anywhere. Um, so it looks like I took out their weapons here, so then let's just do a another set of volley, like right down the middle, I think, here. Um, 
Mm, no, let's. We want scrap right now. We don't really want fuel or anything. So by destroying them, in theory, we'll get more scrap than if we um, let them surrender. Okay, this volley will do it. So sit back and watch. All right. So we got more scrap, less fuel, and less drones, which is what I would have expected to get. Um, and then we actually got an augment, explosive replicator, which basically just, I believe, it just does what it says on the tin. Yeah, there's a 50% chance that you will not use a missile when you fire. Which we don't need missiles, so not very useful for us right now. We're just going to repair up our door systems and then send them back to their stations. Now, while we're parked here in front of this planet, let's um, let's look at upgrades for our ship. Um, I, I normally like to um, get piloting and sensors. You don't usually need doors. At least not in the beginning. So we'll get that and then... Actually, no. We'll just upgrade our power. And then we'll upgrade our engines. Because right now, we don't have enough power to... If we upgraded our engines, we wouldn't have enough power to run them anyways. Um, so now we've upgraded our um, piloting, which basically... So if we walk away, there's a little bit of an autopilot, which will keep our evasion up a little bit. Normally, it would have been zero. Now it's at 7%. And this will basically just let us see the inside of the enemy's ships, which is nice to have. This is the exit, so we don't want to go there quite yet. We, I think we're going to go to this store, even though we don't have any money. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to sell something. Mm. No, let's not do that. Um, doesn't look like there's anything good here, so we'll just buy fuel. We don't need a repair yet. Um, but we can still fix it once. Um, let's keep that because explosive replicator, cause, just because it's pretty good. Um, now let's jump up here. Uh oh. Looks like we're in a nebula with a plasma storm, which basically just means that our power is cut down. So I'm just going to divert power away from the weapons. They're also affected, so luckily um, we're not the only ones who, suffer, who are suffering right now. Um, I'm just going to try and get our shields up, which I've done, and now we have a little bit of engines and three of our weapons, so this is good. Hopefully our shields will get up. Ah, they didn't quite, so we got damaged a little bit. Um, I think what we should do is target this, and then... Target, target their shields and then target um, drone like that. Actually, no. Let's let's just do a fair spread across like that. So hopefully, yeah, we disabled their their one weapon that was working, and now we'll target their shields and piloting. Because I don't think drones can heal themselves. Don't quote me on that. I'm just pretty sure that they can't heal up their subsystems, although I have heard that if they have doors then they can. Um, these doors here, sometimes they don't have any doors, um, but I, I don't know for sure. Looks like after this, after I destroy this, it'll be the end of the episode. So it was fun. I might um, be releasing more episodes if I have time. Um, basically my release schedule will be like the bare minimum of episodes that I'll be able to release but if I have time for more episodes with high school and stuff if I have, I have like less homework that day or something like that then um, I'll re release like a bonus episode and our oxygen is going out let's now that we've won let's get we can breathe again ha 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 <laughs> bad joke to end the episode okay well it was good to play with you guys, and um, 
guess see you in the next one. Don't forget to like if you liked it and comment because advice is welcome. See ya.